Do you know if you're registered to vote? I haven't registered yet. I've just turned 18, so I've just been able to vote. Do you know if you are registered to vote at the moment? No. Why aren't you registered? Because I'm not 18 yet. Did you know that you don't have to be 18? You can register at 16? No. They like send a, a letter to your house to like sign up and everything. And did you sign up? No. It's a talking point at every election. The drive to get young people to have their say. For the last decade, Michael Sarney has made it his mission with his charity, Bite the Ballot. Bite the Ballot was a youth engagement campaign that sought to engage young people on a variety of issues, demonstrate to them that those issues are political, which means they are political, and politics will be even better if they participate. It was inspired by America's Rock the Vote, a bipartisan campaign using celebrities to inspire young people to register and turn up. Turn out for what? Through their digital ads, working classrooms and universities, hundreds of thousands of young people were registered as a result of Bite the Ballot's campaigning. Even Barack Obama was impressed. Uh, Michael Sawney, who's here today, where's Michael? Just right behind. There he is. But in 2019, things are very different. This is the last dance, so to speak. So it's, um, you know, a difficult decision, as you can imagine. But this is, this is it. If it being predominantly a, a digital campaign this year, there's no sort of people going into schools. Since the last election, the funding from local authorities has dried up and private donations have also been hard to come by. Post-Brexit Britain, when we were offered cash, if, you know, Mike, we can fund you if you do uh, pro-Remain activity. Mike, we can fund you if you ensure that uh, Brexit's upheld. And, and that, was, that crossed the lines of... of my personal values and the values of the organisation, that we are neutral. Last month, figures from the Electoral Commission revealed as many as 9 million people eligible to vote in the UK aren't registered. The majority of them are 18 to 24. The Cabinet Office has told us that since 2017, it's been working on a major project to engage more people in democracy. Here it is, the Democratic Engagement Plan. The government says it's been working with local authorities and groups, including Bite the Ballot, but Michael Sarney says none of this has resulted in a spike of young people registering to vote. There was a strong remit there of engaging people in democracy um, and I don't believe it's been achieved. They'll point to programmes and initiatives but it, it hasn't delivered and I don't think they've eradicated the need for Bite the Ballot um, and it could have been done. You know, you've been in charge now for a very long time. You've, you've been at the helm overseeing some rather large changes to our electoral system and yet we're still talking about a lack of youth participation, a lack of youth engagement and, and bar 2017 when we had the, the largest turnout of young voters, um, you know we're still in this mess where young people are not actively participating in between elections which is the crucial element. Do you think that there has been a lack of political will from the Conservative government to make this work? Yeah, yeah because, um, as I say, if, they, if, they, if that wasn't the case, they'd prove otherwise. So, yeah, I think there's too many people that believe young people will vote a certain way and it's easier to, to leave them out. This week, Bite the Ballot launched their final campaign to get voters to register for next month's election. The deadline, the 26th of November. <laughs>